Web ads for new number ones this coming comic book week. Let me just tell you, it has to do with a lot of murder and some horror. Slipped in with a little ninja action in there. All my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I am bringing you the newest number one comic books that are getting ready to come out for October 6, 2021. That's right, guys, you're going to want to check out this list because you don't know what newest comic book series are coming out, and it's very easy to miss one. And then before you know it, they're not on the racks anymore more and you missed out on the latest and greatest and best stories out there right so how many times have you guys went to the comic book shop found out a week later there was this new number one that caught fire because everyone loved reading it and it just wasn't there so don't miss out tune into this list and of course guys before we get started please if you want to become a member of comic book corner 2.0 all you got to do is just go ahead and hit that join button right there on my home screen. Guys, it does help support the channel. It gives you guys a few extra perks. And with that being said, everyone, let's get started with the new number ones that are coming out for October 6th, 2021. Okay, guys, here we go. Kicking off the first number one for October 6th. This one goes to Arkham City, the Order of the World. This seems like a very interesting book from DC Comics as it has to do with Arkham Asylum being destroyed after the Joker War. What has happened to our villains? Where did they escape to? This could be a fun book. It's not overly priced. And this one is $3.99. All right, the next book we're going to talk about is from Marvel Comics. And I think this is the only new Marvel comic that has a new number one coming out for this particular week and this one is Eternals Celestia Issue one there is no good for the internals now that the truth of their existence is revealed Ajax and Makari must pick up the pieces and try to find a road forward no matter how terrifying it will be so when it comes to the Eternals Everything that has been released when it comes to the Eternals has not been for me. I've just never been a fan of these characters. It's going to be interesting for me going into the movie going, man, what can I expect here, right? So I probably will pass on this, but if you're a fan of the Eternals, you might want to check this one out. This one is $4. All right, the next book we're going to be talking about is Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary 100 Page Super Spectacular issue one this book is a ten dollar comic book so if you're into these anniversary like issues these anthology stories which seems to be what these dc books are then this might be one for you or if you're just a huge fan of the character and gotta have every uh, every wonder woman comic book out there again this is something that you might want to pick up all right next Getting into the spirit of Halloween, you guys may have seen this in my top 10 most anticipated comics earlier in the week, and this is Are You Afraid of Dark Side? Issue 1. So this is like a uh, gather around the campfire type of storytelling where we have an anthology story as this has to do with just horror tales with your favorite heroes and villains. Again, if you're into the Halloween spirit and you want to spend the money on this, go ahead. It's 10 bucks and it's 80 pages. The next book that's coming out is from Image Comics and this is called A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance Issue 1. It's a new ongoing crime series from the writer of Deadly Class. So guys, if you are a fan of Deadly Class, you might want to check this out. When an unassuming man stumbles upon a dark web contract, assassins vicious plot to kill an innocent target, he turns himself into one. So this might be something fun, something a little bit different for you independent readers out there. This one is $4. All right, the next book we're going to be talking about is for Rick and Morty fans. This is Rick and Morty Presents Snuffles Goes to War. Now, I've never been a Rick and Morty fan. It's, I guess it's just I'm too old for it or I just never got into it. 
and uh, this book is $5. It says, years ago, Morty's dog Snuffles left Earth to find a planet for his fellow canine kind. Now, at the height of their canine empire, war is coming. It's dog versus squirrel in a cosmic battle for the future of all good dogs. So there you have it, Rick and Morty fans. I think this is the first one out in a while. I could be wrong, but it's there for you. Next, we have Soul Plumber Issue 1. This is from DC Comics. From the creators of the last podcast on the left, on the left, exorcism just got a whole lot easier. After attending a seminar hosted in a hotel conference room by a mysterious group called the Soul Plumbers, I... <laughs> <laughs> and the description just keeps going on further on a different page, but I don't I don't know what to expect. Maybe this is a black label book or something like that, but this one's four dollars. Maybe this one gets you in the spirit of Halloween. We'll see. Next is from Action Comics. This is Chicken Devil issue one. Check out that cover, man. Dude's wearing a mask pointing a gun at you. It says Mitchell Moss is about as regular as it gets. He's married with two children and co-owns a successful chain of Memphis hot chicken restaurants. It's not the life that screams hero vigilante until he discovers something. So I don't know. We'll see what happens here. This might be something I might want to check out, man. Has to do with a franchise, and I don't know. Maybe a guy dressing up as a mascot like starts shooting people. Who who, who knows? But Aftershock Comics. Sometimes these these independent books are pretty pretty fun. All right, this one is interesting. This says Out Issue One. Artist writers Artesian's company. In the warning days of. World War II, with the Allies advancing, a desperate Nazi officer unearths an ancient force of evil that hopes will turn the tide of battle. A vampire. Okay. Quite interesting, as obviously you know when that takes place, and uh, it has to do with vampires and Nazis. So, yeah, again, another book that maybe has to get you into the Halloween spirit. This one is $4. All right, this one is from Ablaze, and this one is the, what is it, the Cimarron? Beyond the Black River, issue one. Robert E. Howard's Conan is brought to life uncensored. Discover the true Conan, unrestrained, violent, and sexual. Read this story as he intended. Oh, okay. So this is, I guess, very uncensored and very graphic. So if you're into this stuff, well, go ahead and pick it up. It's four bucks. All right. I've heard about this book for a while now. This one is Jennifer Blood, issue one from Dynamite Comics. So once upon a time, a suburban housewife spent her nights as a mobster murdering assassin named Jennifer Blood. Then she died. Did she? Because the cozy cul-de-sacs of Bontifel, Utah, a noticeable of, I don't know, normal. I don't know where it goes from there, but nevertheless, I guess she died. She comes back alive and maybe she's something else. So seems pretty cool. Might want to check that one out. Jennifer Blood, Itchy One, $4. Willie's Wonderland. I think this one was talked about last week and it, it was delayed a week. So do you know what time it is? Well, it's your birthday and we want you to have fun. Welcome to Willie's Wonderland. The surprise horror flick of 2021 is Willy's Wonderland. Oh, that's, that's so cool. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. American Mythology is the publisher, $4. Zorro Fights, issue one. This is another one of those books that I feel like was delayed a week as well. So we can check that one out. This one is called Billy the Kit, issue one. The Wild West has never been wilder. Introducing Billy the Kit. Featuring a gunslinger rabbit seeking revenge against the tornado god that killed his family. That's wild. I I don't know. It's done by who's called Blue Juice Comics. It's a $4 comic book. All right. Here's a book that's called Veronica Revenge Issue 1. This book is priced at $4.95. Pumpkill is summoned by a white witch for a most grisly task by Glenn Danzing and Simon Bisley. Veratico's devil girl Akuma, she makes her shocking return to the Verat. I can't even talk about this. It's like 
a complete tongue twister. I don't get what this one's about. Check it out if you want it, guys. Let's move on. Van Helsing, Beast of Examore, issue one. In the moor lands across the field of Exmoor, in the United Kingdom, a beast of once thought lore has resurfaced and is wreaking havoc on its local dis denizens. The Royal Marines have been called into dispatch. Okay, so when it comes to Xenoscope, I've read a lot of their books in the past, and at one point, Patrick Shan wrote a lot of their books, and I really enjoyed his writing there, and even before he came on in the early days. Now, not so much, but uh, if you want to check this out, and if you're a fan of Xenoscope and Van Helsing, go ahead, guys. It is a $6 comic book. All right, next we have The Electric Black Dark Caravan, issue one. Black Caravan imprint, Halloween is upon us and is the perfect time of the year to revisit employees at our eerie emporium. The Yellow Stranger guides June and Jack through the origin tales of Electric Black itself. Interesting, this one's done by Scout Comics, so this one might actually be in your comic shops for $4. The next book we're talking about is Dirtbag Rapture, issue one. She's stoned, she's selfish, she's all that stands between us and the end of the world. Where do you go when you die? Cat, a stoner with a flexible moral code, can answer that, and the answer is not very far. Okay, very interesting. This is done by Ani Press. It's a $4 book. All right, next, celebrating Halloween already, we have Chamber of Terror, issue one by Advent Comics. In this creepy Halloween special, two chillingly frightened tales are told within the dark corners of Advent Universe. So it has uh, dark pathways, evil comes to small Midwestern town, and then it has to do with some kind of genie. So there we have that. Next, we have another Cenoscope book. This is called Bell Headlines, or excuse me, Bell Headless Horseman issue one so obviously this is this version of you know beauty and the beast bell and she has to deal with the headless horseman i guess that's pretty self-explanatory six dollar comic book again xenoscope fans might like this next we have zombie terrors halloween special by asylum press asylum press brings you a giant flesh rotating collection of all new zombie tales featuring an international cast of artistic talent Okay, so that's pretty cool. Again, Asylum Press giving you some Halloween books. Next, we have Headless, issue one by Scout Comics. Headless is back, cursed to live forever as the Headless Horseman. A suicidal young man named Chris must join up with the Dark Forces to rescue his brother Rick from the pits of hell. Okay, Alias. Uh, black and White, Issue 1 from Antarctic Press. A woman introduces her new boyfriend to her family, unaware that he's being tracked by the FBI for a string of murders until it's too late. So in case you missed last week's video, this book was on there as well. So it looks like a lot of these books were uh, delayed by a week, right? Next, we have Action Lab has Hath No Fury. Thrown into an unfamiliar world and beset by dangers both magical and mundane, Freya and Yazil will have to learn to cooperate and to survive. That's a book that's not for me, so I'm not picking that one up. We got some kind of vampire macabre, Halloween special issue one by Asylum Press. Uh, let's see. Asylum Press brings you a horrific bloodthirsty collection of all new vampire tales featuring an international cast of artistic talent. All right, pretty cool. So if you like vampires and you like Halloween, you might like that book. Southside, issue one by Avent Comics, $3. Good price point there. And in this hard-hitting crime noir thriller, Dalton Malone returns home to the mean streets of Washington, D.C. to search for the murder of his friend and to get revenge. But Malone quickly finds himself in trouble. So we got a lot of books that have to deal with murder and obviously horror this particular comic book week. Next, we have Howling Snow, 
a kung fu fable. Okay, so just as I say that, we have a kung fu book. For a hundred years, Fox roamed the land in human form, once a formidable swordsman and a master of mystic arts. Now he is disenchanted soul and is in constant search of pleasure and distraction. All right. Oh, more ninja stuff. Ninja Scouts by Scout Comics. Scoot Imprint. It's time for the Ninja Scouts. Your neighborhood ninjas practice their skills in a world where magic, science, fiction, and other genres we consider fictional. All right, after school clubs and youth organizations with Ninja Scouts. That seems pretty cool. Four dollars. All right, next we have Paradise Towers, Paradise Found, issue one. This is done by a company called Cut Away Comics. Build high for happiness, an ice hot science fiction adventure and sequel to season 24 Doctor Who Adventures, Paradise Towers. Years have passed since Krogonan, the great architect, tried to wipe out all the inhabitants. All right, so if you like this, or if this sounds interesting, go ahead and pick it up. So there you have it, guys. Let me just tell you, not many Marvel or DC comic books getting ready to come out that particular comic book week when it comes to new number ones but man there's a heck of a lot of independence especially from the smaller publishers out there so maybe something out there tickles your fancy right so guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and as always if you please can give it a like subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the bell most importantly because you don't know when content is going to come out for me unless you hit receive all notifications and guys i'll leave you more content right here to check out and until next time guys keep buying those comics keep collecting them and most importantly keep reading those books until next time guys i'll see you real soon bye